to my Yoda the Queen podcast. My name is Ayaka, and I'm so grateful for you guys to share your time with me today. For my first episode, I'm gonna talk about how to spend your time to focus on yourself. I hope you're staying safe and doing well during this time. It's been a while since this pandemic started. And we are still living a n u s u a l life. And I think some of you feel so much stress right now. But in the positive aspects, we have a lot of free time right now, more than usual. So I think this is a great chance to really focus on yourself and your life. So today, I want to share with you my three tips. So today, I want to share with you. My three tips that I'm actually using for my personal growth during this time, and I hope these tips will empower your life too. So let's get started. Tip number one start and create healthy routine. So before this pandemic started, I didn't have my morning routine. So at the beginning, since I started working from home, I didn't know what to do in the morning, so I used to wake up at 6 a.m. and drink coffee and make up and go to the station and take train and go to office. But I didn't have morning routine to start my day, so I kind of slept over every day <laughs> at first. But I wanted to make rhythm, so I created my morning routine, which is every day after I woke up, I do 30 minutes morning yoga practice. Then my body wakes up and I feel not sleepy anymore, and I actually start my day. With fresh body and energy. I think routine keeps us on track no matter what happens in our life and c r e a t e rhythm on daily life. So, if we repeat our daily routine for a month, then it will be our habit. And if we repeat our habit for years, and then it will be our life. That's why creating good and healthy routine is so important. It could be 10 minutes workout, or spend time in nature, or read books, or making dinner with fresh food. Whatever helps you to keep staying healthy and level up your lifestyle. So let's think about what kind of life do you want to live and what kind of routine makes it real. Tip number two meditate. Meditation is for Being conscious of your unconscious thoughts. In other words, conversation with yourself. I meditate once a day at least for 15 to 30 minutes. I will explain how to meditate just in case you don't know how to do it. It's simple and you can start today. So, first, sit on your mat or your couch or wherever you can be comfortable and focused. And second, Close your eyes and release any tension from your body. So, relax your shoulders, relax your arms, relax your legs, and relax your jaw. But keep your spine straight. And third, listen to your thoughts. So, once you sit down and release any tension from your body, you will start thinking like what I am feeling right now. Or why I got emotional when that happened to me. Or what's my passion or what's my purpose for life? I want you to listen to your thoughts without judgment. And just observe your thoughts and just know what you're thinking or what you're feeling and know yourself better. When you know yourself better, your life gets better. Tip number three. Gain your knowledge or purpose and dream. When we don't know how to spend our time, we tend to go watching Netflix or school.
scrolling Instagram and Facebook and checking others' life, but you know those actions don't help us grow or solve our problems neither. So instead of using your time to checking others' life, use your time to read books and listen to podcasts or audiobooks. Go watch a YouTube channel of inspiring people. I'm following Jay Shetty and my left, Dr. Joe Dispenza, or many other amazing people. I totally recommend you to watch and listen their contents. And there is a quote by Ed Milet, which is everyone at the top is obsessed with their own life. So let's get obsessed with your own life and start taking actions for your dreams and start living your dream life. So these are my tips guys. I hope some of my tips have helped you and encourage you to start taking actions for your dreams. And also I'd love to know your tips too. So please share yours on my YouTube channel. The link is down below. And please also follow my Instagram at I am me 8 and I want to create a beautiful community where we can help each other and grow together. So that's it. And I'm so, so grateful and thankful for you guys to listen to my first episode. And no matter where you live, no matter what you're going through right now, and no matter who you are, please always remember you're lovable, you're worthy, and you're enough as who you are. I love you and see you in my next episode. Bye bye.